Greetings. Let's go ahead and take a look at your human rights comparative analysis. So with this comparative analysis, or sometimes I refer to it as an extended case study, you're going to be looking at the same human rights violation in two different locations or time periods. And again, Dr. Fine provides uh, some examples of conducting the comparative analysis. I've referred to uh, chapter three and some of the other chapters uh, will be relevant as well as you um, read her text. In the comparative analysis, what I'm asking you to do is to please compare and contrast two similar human rights violations that took place in different locations, although you may compare the same or different uh, time periods. For example, in my own research, I've analyzed sex trafficking in the Bosnian and Rwandan genocides. I recently included um, the Holocaust into that uh, analysis. You could focus on a variety of areas, for example, and again, um, unfortunately, the possibilities seem endless since there's so many human rights violations, but you could look at how the United States responded to um, the human rights violations. You could examine the interventions and the outcomes. Uh, you could um, also, you can use your previous case study, case study one, as one of the cases for the comparative analysis and then select another one and compare and contrast you know, with the same uh, violation. And I also have a little bit of information from Hootenbach uh, from 2004, uh, Hootenbach's article, Conducting Comparative Study of Genocide, in a book by Toten, edited by Toten, Dr. Toten, Teaching About Genocide Issues, Approaches, and Resources. And even though uh, Dr. Hootenbach provided insight into comparative analysis for genocides, I've kind of adapted his method for comparing human rights violations. And so he suggests some areas as, as well. For example, the looking and focusing on the preconditions. For example, those factors that led up to the violations or the emergence of a crisis that led to those human rights violations or, or propaganda campaigns related to human rights violations. Also, the human rights violation, the event, the perpetrators, victims, collaborators, Raiders, uh, collaborators, um, resistors, or post-violation reactions, international reactions, trials, how society is um, uh, reconstructed in the case of genocide, but also I would say how society changes in response to those human rights violations. So any of these specific themes would be appropriate. And again, the focus is on specific areas for your comparative um, an an analysis. And hopefully, again, this gives you a little bit more um, insight into conducting the comparative analysis. And um, uh, the reason I had you do uh, case study one first is to kind of give you the idea, okay, now you have a case. So you can use that, or you can select two different cases to compare and contrast, or you can select that one and then another one. Uh, but you already have uh, the skills, the knowledge, and some ideas now about conducting the case study. So you're kind of, you know, I guess one way to look at it is you're putting together two different case studies. Okay, and this wraps up this video. Thank you.